go, God rules. When I walk on White House grounds, God walks on White House grounds. When I go into the dry cleaner, that dry cleaning place becomes holy. I had every right and authority to declare the White House as holy ground because I was standing there and where I stand is holy. It was about an assignment to say no to President Trump would be saying no to God. And therefore, and I won't do that. You need to send in $3,500. You need to send in $35,000. You need to send in that $100,000 check. If you do not write that P.O. box and you do not call that toll free number and you do not become a ministry of sustainer, you will never see sustainment in your life and your dream will die. Your call will die. Paula White, a prominent yet contentious figure in the evangelical community, has been surrounded by numerous controversies. Among these are accusations of misusing church funds for personal benefits financial troubles within her church, and involvement in scandalous spending and questionable activities, including trips with fellow televangelist Benny Hinn. White has faced allegations that she misused church funds for personal expenditures, including plastic surgery. These accusations have cast a shadow over her ministry, raising ethical questions about the use of donations intended for church operations and charitable work. White has vehemently denied these claims, asserting that her personal expenses have not been funded by church resources. Despite her denials, the allegations have fueled ongoing scrutiny and skepticism among her critics and some followers. In addition to personal controversies, White's ministry has encountered significant financial difficulties. Reports suggest that her church has struggled with debt and financial instability. These financial instability, these financial woes have sparked concerns about the management and transparency of the church's finances. Congregants and critics alike have questioned how funds are being allocated and whether the church's financial practices align with ethical and legal standards. The financial troubles have further complicated White's public image, casting doubt on her leadership and administrative capabilities. Paula White's lavish lifestyle and spending habits have been a focal point of controversy. Instances of extravagant spending on luxury items and high-end travel have raised eyebrows leading to allegations of financial impropriety. One particularly controversial aspect of her spending habits involves her association with Benny Hinn, another well-known televangelist. Reports of questionable trips and activities with Hinn have added to the scandal surrounding White. In 2010, Photos and reports surfaced of White and Hinn holding hands in Rome, which led to speculation about the nature of their relationship. Both White and Hinn denied any romantic involvement, but the incident nevertheless contributed to the narrative of impropriety and questionable judgment. Now, Paula White Kane is probably most well known for being the spiritual ambassador of sorts to former President Donald Trump. She's also a hypercharismatic preacher who promotes what has become known as the prosperity gospel. She is overly focused on helping you develop wealth, health, and success in addition to other things. And of course, in typical hypercharismatic fashion, she preached a sermon about how to get your personal breakthrough. Specifically, we'll be offering a biblical analysis of her sermon in titled, quote, Your Battle is Setting Up Your Breakthrough. This sermon has over 110,000 views on YouTube, and unfortunately, it is filled to the brim with false teaching. Watch this. And, and, and you've got to be able to build yourself up in the spirit, man. And so David, we know, does this. And we learned that sometimes it takes a Goliath in your life for David to come forth. Or it takes a pit in your life, talk to me, Joseph, to be positioned for promotion. These controversies have had a substantial impact on Paula White's public perception and influence. Her close relationship with former President Donald Trump initially elevated her status, giving her a prominent platform and significant influence within the evangelical community. However, the ongoing scandals and financial troubles have led to a decline in her influence. Many within the religious community view her with increasing skepticism, questioning the authenticity and integrity of her ministry, the combination of personal controversies and financial mismanagement has eroded trust among her followers and peers. We command all satanic pregnancies to miscarry right now. We declare that anything that's been conceived in satanic wombs, that it'll miscarry. Hey, 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 we interrupt that which has been deployed to hurt the church in this season, that which has been deployed to hurt this nation in the name of Jesus. Forgive us. 
for our sins. Come on, I need you guys to pray. We cancel every surprise from the witchcraft and the marine kingdom. Any hex, any spell, any witchcraft, any spirit of control, any Jezebel, anything that the enemy desires through, through spells, through witchcraft, through any way that is manipulation, demonic manipulation, we curse that. We break it according to the word of God in the name of Jesus. We come against the marine kingdom. We come against the animal kingdom. Any uh, The woman that rides upon the waters, we break the power in the name of Jesus. And we declare that any strange winds, any strange winds that have been sent to hurt the church, sent against this nation, sent against our president, sent against myself, sent against others, we break it by the the superior blood of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus we arrest every infirmity affliction fatigue weariness weakness fear sickness any self-righteousness any self-serving action God let pride fall let pride fall let pride fall let pride fall the ethical and moral implications of Paula White's actions are a major concern the accusations of misusing church funds, coupled with her extravagant lifestyle, have led to broader questions about the moral responsibilities of religious leaders. There is an expectation that pastors and church leaders should exemplify modesty, transparency, and integrity, qualities that many believe White has failed to demonstrate. Her actions have prompted calls for greater accountability and oversight in religious organizations to prevent similar issues from arising in the future. White's promotion of the prosperity gospel, which teaches that faith and donations can lead to material wealth and success, has been a significant point of contention. Critics argue that this theology distorts the core teachings of Christianity, focusing on materialism rather than spiritual growth and service. The prosperity gospel has been criticized for exploiting vulnerable individuals, promising them financial miracles, promising them financial miracles in exchange for contributions. White's association with this controversial theology has further alienated her from traditional Christian teachings and communities. Paula White's controversies have had a ripple effect within the evangelical community. Her actions and the negative publicity surrounding her ministry have contributed to a growing mistrust of televangelists and megachurch leaders. Many believers are now more critical and discerning of religious leaders seeking greater transparency and accountability. This shift reflects a broader movement within the evangelical community towards ensuring that church leaders adhere to ethical standards and genuinely reflect Christian values. Paula White's journey as a prominent yet controversial pastor is marked by a series of scandals and financial troubles. Her denial of misusing church funds for personal expenses, such as plastic surgery, stands alongside ongoing financial difficulties within her church and allegations of scandalous spending and questionable trips with Benny Hinn. These issues have significantly impacted her public perception and influence, raising ethical and moral questions about her leadership. As the evangelical community continues to navigate these challenges, White's story serves as a reminder of the importance of integrity, transparency, and accountability in religious leadership.